Are buying capsules for silver and gold coins a complete waste of money? So are buying capsules for silver and gold coins a complete waste of money? That actually really all depends entirely on what it is you are looking to do with your silver and gold coin collection. Now, I posted a video maybe about a year ago, maybe even a little bit longer, and I'll put the uh, card up there and the link down in the description about a big mistake that I made when I bought capsules for my American Silver Eagles. I had about 13 or 14 tubes like these um, that I just put in capsules like so. And I really didn't know what I was doing when I first started stacking. I viewed these silver coins as numismatic. I didn't want anything to happen to them because I just you know, thought they were beautiful. I don't want my stuff getting all scratched up and what, what have you. But uh, I believe that that was a mistake because it was actually a waste of money. These coins are really not numismatic. These are really made just for the bullion, the silver content. These aren't meant to be numismatic in nature. These aren't going to really go up in value all that much. Um, I did this because, again, like I said, I didn't know any better. And these coins, they'll come in these government mint tubes. And, you know, these you could kind of see through the plastic here. These are kind of not brilliant, uncirculated, but... Um, you know, look at what I'm doing, people. I'm actually holding these with my bare hands. That's because you can see some of these are scratched up like that. Now, this is where this kind of comes into play, right? Some people in the stacking community are very particular about their silver and gold coin collection. Uh, I being one of those individuals. You can see that this coin has been beat up, right? Um, you can see all the scratches and scuffs on it. Let's take a look at the reverse. You can kind of see right there, um, how scuffed up it is, right? Now, some people don't want this happening to their silver coins, so they will buy these capsules. Now, these capsules, they kind of go for, you know, maybe like a buck a piece, depending on where you get them. And they have different variations. Um, you saw a recent video that Spectacular dropped talking about the different types of capsules to protect coins. They have the black rings around them. These tend to be something that a lot of people within the stacking community prefer. They also have the direct fits, which are coins that, um, sorry, capsules that do not have the, um, you know, the black foam rings around them. And here's, you know, some examples. Um, right here, the new Wolverine coin. You can see this came in a, just a regular capsule that doesn't have that foam ring you can kind of hear that rattling noise um, but you don't really get that when you have the ones with the foam ring around them the ones that come direct from the mint will typically have that that little rattle sound um, but the direct fits let's see if i have any here's one as an example they almost have like a, an inner ring kind of and then you have that outer ring uh, not entirely sure as to why they decided to do that um, design, maybe just to kind of give it the appearance that it's a little bit larger, perhaps uh, easier to kind of hold on to as opposed to being just like right around the coin. Um, you know, here's an example of a one ounce gold maple where you don't really have that outer clear plastic. It kind of all comes down to preference. So when it comes to something that's a little bit more collectible in nature, my recommendation is that you actually do spend the money on getting a capsule. Buying capsules for silver and gold coins are not a complete waste of money when they are more collectible. So like I said to you a moment ago, you know, I do happen to like, you know, superheroes and I did have a comic book collection as a, a child. I sold that off. But so coins like this that actually are more collectible in nature, it gives the coin a little bit more, um, I guess, of a better presentation, right? This just this black ring just looks so much, so much nicer. Here we've got Spider-Man, Black Panther. 
Now, the other thing about these capsules, aside from preventing scratches and scuffs like you see here, they also help prevent toning. Now, toning occurs naturally to silver over time, whether it's due to uh, oils from people's hands touching them. Uh, it could also, and it's also mainly just from the oxygen in the air. Um, you could kind of, again, you could see how these coins right there are, are toning. Um, the other thing, too, that you want to keep in mind is when you do buy these capsules for your coins, sometimes you still will get toning on them. I do have some silver eagles that even though they were placed in capsules and they weren't really handled by bare hands, they still ended up getting some toning. And that could be anything from, you know, some oxygen. Maybe the capsules aren't exactly airtight. Uh, that is a brand, though, that you do want to make sure that you get are the air tights. Uh, you can kind of see on this one a little bit of toning around that edge, which is fine. Again, it kind of will just happen naturally over time for, for some coins, but um, it will still prevent the scratches and scuffs. So um, my recommendation is if you are buying American Silver Eagles, that you do not bother getting capsules for them. That is, like I said, a, a waste of money. Um, you're fine just keeping the capsules out of the equation. Just keep these coins in the government mint tubes. Um, you know, these, like I said, are bought and sold mainly just for the bullion weight. You don't need to really worry about that. Again, other coins such as, you know, or rounds, I should say, that are collectible like these privateers. Um, you know, I just, the series is absolutely outstanding. You want to be able to handle these without having to wear gloves. So that's the other thing. Um, you don't get your fingerprints on them. You don't, uh, you know, get the oils from your hands on the coins it, and the rounds. It keeps um, these as blast white as possible, which is, you know, you know, something that a lot of people do want to see in their coin. Some people do prefer the toning, but uh, I'm actually not one of those. It only really kind of depends on the subject matter. This one, you can kind of see that it's toned a little bit. But anyhow, so those are worth putting in capsules. What about constitutional silver? You don't really need to put constitutional silver in capsules. These I put in capsules because these were passed down from grandparents um, of mine and great grandparents. So this is really the only reason why I put these five coins in these capsules. Um, what a lot of people do like to do with these types of coins, the constitutional, is that they will put them in flips. Now flips are these very, you know, inexpensive two by two cardboard, um, you know, cardboard little, I don't know what you want to call them, I guess just flips, but they have this like very thin layer of plastic in there and it allows you to kind of handle the coins without you know further uh, fingerprints and whatnot but even though these coins have been circulated and um, you know these these flips basically are there for mainly like um, again like presentation purposes right uh, you're not really going to protect these coins from scratches and dings and toning because as you can see here there is a gap there once you staple these shut um, you know this isn't like something it's almost like you know all, close to like being like saran wrap you know it's not really a um really strong type of plastic a very very thin film it's mainly just to handle the coin and <clears throat> to look at the coin and not really um not really for protection purposes so you can buy these flips what i lot what a lot of people like to do and i like to do this is um you get these card boxes that come with a big order of these uh, flips and I like to file the different types of coins in here like this um, you know here's like a really nice you know almost like a slider of a Morgan dollar and I put it in the flip because it's just a little bit of a nicer presentation as opposed to just putting the coin up by itself um, here's my peace dollars. I throw peace dollars in here. Um, let's see what else do we have here. Mercury dimes, right? So you could just put them in flips like this. 
you could put the date on them. This has nice toning on it, by the way. Put the date on it if you want to. The, you could write little notes on it. You could write down what you paid on them. So uh, these are a very inexpensive way of storing your coins. Um, the other thing, too, that a lot of people will use are just these. Now, my recommendation, these are just the flips that you get when you place an order online. These are very inexpensive. These aren't a very strong or secure way of protecting your coins from getting beat up, right? These are definitely a step down from the capsules. These, though, are good for preventing minor scuffs and scratches. I typically will use these if I am uh, selling some of my coins and sending them. I always send it, though, still in bubble mailers. Sometimes I will put this uh, inside of corrugated cardboard as well. But this is just a little extra layer of protection of the coin so it doesn't get beat up. Um, I believe this is actually, will this actually fit in here? Let's see. I don't know if this is actually going to be the right size. Um, but these are good. Yeah, it does work. So, you know, if you're shipping something to some people or you're just throwing it in like a little Tupperware container and you're not really concerned with storing the stuff in, in you know, capsules and tubes such as these, you can put them in these flips. Again, it's not going to, see, you drop it like that, it's not going to prevent scratching or dings per se. Uh, it will prevent some minor surface scratching. It's not going to prevent toning whatsoever, right? This is open on both sides. It's not airtight. But it will prevent from, you know, minor scratches and scrapes. But like big dings, if you, you drop something on them or whatever, or you drop them from like a high height and onto the floor, they can still get beat up that way. So keep that in mind. And definitely if you're selling, um, people do prefer that you have some sort of protection with the coins. So make sure that you... So make sure that you uh, definitely use at least flips when sending this stuff off because, again, you know, if you're just sending stuff loose, people will get very upset with you. Um, you know, you should have some level of care when it comes to uh, selling your items and shipping them. The other thing, too, is you can always buy just tubes like these. These tubes have varying sizes, as you can see, right? This one is, you know... A lot smaller than the other one they have tubes even smaller than this for like one tenth ounce coins um, the bigger coins go in the bigger uh, tubes but you can always buy ones like this where you know these Morgan dollars peace dollars they will fit in there um, just loose just throw them in there or Walker half dollars right these different all different types they have ones like this for dimes and this isn't again for you know, really saving the, uh, or these aren't really for protecting the coins. This is mainly just for storage purposes. So if you're really looking to secure, um, if you're really looking to protect your coins, um, that's where you want to do these air tights, possibly even slabs. But if you're just looking for minor protection, that's where you're going to want to do like at least flips. Um, but these, again, are mainly just for storage purposes. So it all depends on what it is that you're looking to do. Um, so are buying capsules for silver and gold coins a complete waste of money? It depends on what it is you're looking to do. If you're collecting, definitely want to invest in them. If you're reselling, you definitely want stuff like this to at least have some minor protection from scratches. Um, but if you're buying like bullion grade stuff such as eagles and there's no real numismatic value then don't worry about it just keep the stuff in the government mint tube and i just want to quickly thank these elite channel supporters and if you haven't become a channel member please check out the awesome perks and join today with that on the stacking stormtrooper check out these videos until next time long live the empire